coming to you from my attic today. We're actually going to be swapping out a couple of capacitors in my uh, AC units. Um, they are not completely dead yet, but uh, AC guy said that they were going bad and needed to be swapped out. Now, they were going to charge me $150 a piece to swap these out. Uh, I got these for $15 maybe maybe 15 but probably less than that um, but right around there so the whole project is costing me you know thirty dollars at the most um, and instead of three hundred dollars to, to swap both of these out and it is a super simple project now you're gonna have to work with electricity electrical uh, capacitors on this these can be very dangerous uh, so if you don't feel comfortable if you don't have experience um, you know you're taking a, a, a risk uh, if you've never worked with them before because they put out a lot of power um, so be careful if you're doing it uh, if you don't feel comfortable hire somebody to do it that knows how to do it uh, because uh, you know, it's it's your responsibility to be uh, careful when you're when you're taking on something like this. So, uh, with that being said, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is turn this uh, turn the power off to the unit uh, so that we can safely uh, get the old one removed. All right, this panel here, the bottom panel uh, for my unit, um, has the electrical connections and everything in it. So the first thing we're going to do is just pop this off. Uh, the bolts on mine are not too tight, so uh, last time I took this off, I um, just used my fingers to, to get these bolts out. I must have tightened them a little extra when I put them back in. Uh, this here, this piece, let me turn on the, uh, turn on the light here. This piece here is the capacitor. That's what this is going to replace. With that, um, I'm going to put it in the same way I take it out. Uh, it has one screw up top, and then the this clamp that holds it in has a, has a couple little clips that, f that slide into the aluminum behind it. Um, so we'll just take this one screw loose there and then the whole thing should si slide out now the reason these are dangerous is because these essentially store a large charge of electricity that is able to kick on that blower motor uh, and actually drive the uh, the blower in the unit so when you take it apart when you take it out and you disconnect the wires there's still a charge in the uh, capacitor. So if you were to touch it, even though the power is off to it, you could still get a, a, a significant shock. So that's the part that you have to be really careful with. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is pop off uh, the connectors, the wiring connectors, uh, being very careful not to uh, touch them just uh, as a precaution, uh, and then we'll get that, uh, get that unit taken out. Out touching it. Wire two is loose. And then you want to take a screwdriver, make sure it's got a rubber handle on it so you don't get shocked. And we're going to touch those two points together. And that's going to discharge any sort of electricity that's still sitting in that capacitor. So now I'm still going to be careful with it, but it should be uh, completely safe at this point uh, as far as the electricity is concerned. So that comes out. That's the old one. And the new one here is just going to slide in the same way. Tighten 
that up. Now I'm using the flat headed uh, screwdriver here. It's just a flat headed screw there. Get that tight. Then we're going to connect our wires back up. Here. And here. Wire two. And that's it. Then we turn on the power. And the unit should be ready to go. The panel slides back in. And screw it back together. And the next time that blower is called for, will kick on like it's supposed to. Hope I can uh, save you some money with this video uh, if you have any issues with yours. Uh, one thing that I've learned to do is is not, you know, don't be afraid to tell a, a mechanic, electric, electrician, plumber, whatever, uh, you know, that, that's a little too expensive. I think I'll try to do that myself. Uh, I know that has saved me uh, a ton of money in the past. So uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe, uh, like this video if it helped you out. And again, I just want to say be careful, uh, be very cautious if you take on this project. Uh, it's your responsibility to know uh, what you can and can't handle uh, on your own. Thanks again. Hope to see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.